All right, thanks, Jay. Shoveling out walkways, digging out cars, it's become routine for many of us this winter. But 19 inches is a lot, even for the most seasoned snow shovelers. So how is the storm impacting folks this time around? For that, we go now to Marvin Scott, who's live at the Papacy Bridge for us. Marvin, are you there? Oops, I'm here. There you are. <laughs> I'm here, Kaidi, and uh, fortunately, the snow has stopped. And once again, all the folks in our area are doing what they've learned to do best, cope. In the, in, with a storm. Today, uh, they took the snow and they bared it throughout the traffic this morning and the homeward rush as well tonight. Uh, I have to tell you, though, the driving conditions were extremely treacherous a few hours ago. Uh, we averaged about 25 miles per hour driving up to Tappan, the Tappan Zee Bridge just a couple of hours ago. And with all the snow today, you might say that this third winter storm was a contrast in vision. On the one hand, there is the tranquil beauty of the white flakes settling on the branches of trees in Central Park. But for motorists, it was slow going throughout our area. In New Jersey, wet, slushy, and slippery roads created extremely poor driving conditions. Even with half of the state's spreaders and plows in service, they had a hard time keeping ahead of the rapidly falling snow. Although speed limits were reduced on many roadways, there were dozens of reported fender-bender accidents. It was the same story on roads throughout Long Island and other northern suburban areas. Walking was equally as treacherous. In the city, where rain quickly turned to snow, navigating the streets was somewhat of a chore. City crews were mobilized to spread salt along major arteries in time for the evening rush hour. Nonetheless, the homeward track was very slow. While plows traversed the roadways, it took manual labor to clear the sidewalks and snow from cars. People were cautioned against overexertion. For some, the situation wasn't as bad as they had expected. Ah, oh, it's not so bad. It could be worse. It could be deeper. It's Christmas again. Snow creates a headache for most of us adults, but for kids, well, that's another story. Another chance to use the sleds they got for Christmas. And there's an added bonus. Is it better to be here than in school? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, because school's boring and you have too much work. <laughs> you got uh, the same thing he said. But I like it when the school is closed, so they get to enjoy a full day of snow. Lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, lots of fun for some, but not for the guy who owns this car. He's going to have some job clearing it in the morning. And with temperatures uh, dropping tonight, uh, there are expected to be some icy patches on the roadway. So if you are driving, drive very carefully. Incidentally, alternate side of the, uh, alternate side of the street parking regulations are being suspended tomorrow for snow removal. And actually, we should have seen this storm coming. After all, the groundhog saw his shadow last week. Telling us, after all, we do have six more weeks of winter. Brr. Reporting live from the Tappan Zee Bridge, Marvin Scott for the WB11 News at 10. Back to you, Jim. Groundhog, thank you very much, Marvin. The nasty weather stopped travelers in their tracks at area airports today. Many flights at LaGuardia, JFK, and Newark were canceled. And even though the snow has stopped right now, there's still a lot of people stuck with no place to go. Right now, Jonathan Deanst is live at LaGuardia with the latest. Jonathan. Jim, as you said, there were delays all day at all three major area airports, but things went from bad to worse around 4 o'clock. That's when many flights were canceled flat out. Among passengers here, emotions ranged from taking it in stride to frustration. Patience can only go so far, sir. Vinny Cerami says he's been running gate to gate since 1.30. He complains Spirit Airlines kept telling him the flight with his relatives would land on time. I've gotten five different answers. I've been here six hours, you know, I'm, I'm tired, you know. I'm waiting for my grandmother who's 89, first time she's ever flown, and she's going through this one. This Continental flight from Houston, one of the few to make it in tonight, it was six hours late. So we were doing circles in the air, and that uh, they didn't know what the plan was. And they, brought so. us, uh, they brought us down in Baltimore at about four o'clock, yeah. and we sat there till 6.30, um, not even pulled up to a gate. No food. Around 5 o'clock, the driving snow forced airlines here to virtually shut down. Delta flights canceled. Northwest, no flights. American and Continental, the same. For those with nowhere else to go, it meant hitting the food court or camping out for the night. This group tells us 84 flights along the East Coast canceled because of the storm. United says 22 of its flights in the New York area canceled as well.
Now there are some flights up and running, arriving 